Okay, it's been a long time since I've had a good workbench now. Over a year. Um, uh, wow, actually almost at two years. Uh, but I, I finally built one. It's uh, two foot by eight foot, so 16 square feet of delicious, wonderful shop workspace. But I want a vise. A metal vise, preferably. I'd love to have a woodworking, a proper woodworking vise, but that'll come later. Uh, so for today, I decided I'd put in my vise. And my vise is this. Okay? It ain't great. It is an old DuraCraft tool. Um, apparently made in 1981 in Taiwan. Um, but it's actually not that bad of a vise. In fact, it's better than the old vise that I had, which which I have here. Um, oh, let me show you before I get on this. Is this guy here? It also used to be a swivel base vise, but the uh, the base couldn't take it and broke. So yeah, don't have that anymore. Um, I'll figure something out, some way to make it useful. Um, for now, it's just been clamping small parts that I need a lot of force to clamp on. Um, unfortunately, it's not. It's like a it's like a three inch C clamp now. Not much else. All right. So, um, anyways, so let's get on to the part that I feel is kind of clever. Uh, I don't like having a vise on the workbench. Um, it's it's a necessity, especially for people like me who end up cutting metal. Uh, yeah, it's it's just it's something I can't get away with. So I mounted it on this piece of plywood, bored some holes in it, put some bolts in it. Um, the clever part is right here. I got some of these threaded inserts. I try to keep these little guys on hand. They're really useful. Um, and I sank four of them into the corner of my workbench and I will also be doing the same in the same spots for my scroll saw and maybe a few other small tools that I don't use a whole lot but I use enough to justify it. So you just go to the spot that it's at and the holes are just a little bit loose so that they don't bind up. And then snap it in place. Now, some people are probably going to say, well, that's probably not going to be durable enough for a workbench vise. But most of the force on a vise is back and forth like this. It's actually not straight down. Um, in fact, if you're beating on something straight down on your vise, well, that's, that's how the other vise got broke. Yes, I could could invest in a bigger vise, but they cost a lot of money, and I just don't have it like that, so I got a little vise. And this vise cost me $15 on Facebook, so kind of a win. And I didn't get killed on the process. Also a win. So the vise is held onto this piece of plywood with T-nuts sank into the bottom, and these grade 5 bolts from the top. Um, and it's pretty rigid. Um, even considering I don't have it tightened down all the way. Alright, let's tighten it down. But it's rigid enough that I have to shake the whole bench before I can move it. Which is no small feat in its own. So, I like the idea. The uh, It seems pretty good. The little vise needs a a bit of spraying and a little love. I can see one of the oh no, it's there. I'm gonna say it looks like one of the jaw screws is out. But it's just a four-inch vise. Looks like a a Wilton knockoff. And we it's got some. I'm impressed by the. There we go. I'm impressed by how far it came out. Um, it's got an Acme threaded rod in there. So the screw is actually Acme threaded, which is nice. The tongue, which catches on this slot and prevents it from turning, is full length. It actually goes to about right there. So that's all the way to the back end of the nut. And I 
might struggle to get in there. We'll see. Nope, oh, look at that. Right in. So, for a cheapo vice, uh, of course, I don't know. In 1981, it might have been a good vice. Um, but for... I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Especially for 15 bucks. Hard to beat that. But there we go. How to mount your vice permanently without mounting it permanently. I like it. And uh, for reference, these guys are called threaded inserts. And you can see that it's got a relatively coarse thread on there. And on the inside it'll be machine screws. Or um, in this case it's just quarter 20. Which will be more than enough for this vise. I'm. It's unlikely that I break these bolts. Um, if you're... <clears throat> if you question the durability of these, uh, I'm going to tell you right now that you could probably take apart any piece of furniture in your house and you're going to find some of these. And they're going to be what keeps you from breaking the furniture. So, there you go. My clever solution. Have a good one.